Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time again. It is drip marketing time. Today it is Monday, December 18th, 2023. We did get to see Chiori in the most recent trailer for 4.3. So I'm expecting to see her. There's also a possibility of Chlorin, maybe even Sidwin. Definitely not Arlequino. I feel like it's a little too soon for that. But there have been some rumors floating around for who it could be, but I'm not sure if I believe those. So without further ado, let's see what our cast is for 4.4. This should be the Lantern Right patch characters. Oh, the trailer always gets me. I'm always thinking it's going to be somebody. Who, who is this lad? What's his name? Gaming? <laughs> gaming. Yes, gaming. <laughs> That's probably not meant to be said the way it is. Or the way it looks, at least. But no, I mean, it looks like gaming, you know? Oh, no. I've seen this name before. No, I'm joking. But um, Leonin Vanguard. Sword and Strongbox Transport Guard. Strongbox and Artifacts. Pyro. And Leo, oh lordy, Expeditions, Expeditions. He see, he sees and hears everything as if he had the eyes of a hawk, and ears like a fox. Some kind of mythical beast, fighting tooth and nail. He drove away bandits and ruffians, ruffians, like devils with the auspicious monument of Sunai. Sunai. A plague of gratitude received by the sword and strongbox secured transport agency with a merchant who's caravan was safely escorted by gaming what is his name gaming yeah it looks good looks very happy this looks like he does kind of look like uh some kind of protagonist of like a manga or something that's what he looks like he looks like the protagonist of an anime or something like some kind of like slice of life show he looks like or like some kind of slice of life slash action kind of show but i like how we get more agencies and like organizations with each character that comes out nowadays. It seems like the Mason and Mason and Gardenage with Chevreuse and now the Sword and Strongbox Secure Transport Agency, uh, um, Konamiya Express with Kiana. So it was like a new, a new thing. Oh man. If you happen to hear the sound of drums and gongs as you're walking through the streets of Leeway Harbor, let your ears lead the way. With a bit of luck, you might be fortunate enough to witness a performance of gaming's remarkable Wuxiang, uh, Wuxiang dance. So he's a dancer and he's a part of the, like a performer and the agency. When he puts his, when he puts on his mask, he shakes his head and blinks like a waking beast. The vast array of emotions he conjures up, the unpredictable twists and turns, following his every move with a rapture. The audience can't help but cheer and applaud. Thank you for all your support, everyone. And remember, if someone you know, someone you knows thinking of booking a Bouchon dance, don't forget to recommend the Mighty Mythical or the the Mighty Mythical Beast. It's a shame that more often than not, he receives nothing but applause in return. But gaming does not let his let let this get to him. He laughs it off, saying the audience's attention is all the recognition he needs. Okay, once the crowd has dispersed and his mask is off, it's the next Zhao. Gaming swiftly returns to being a guard. Oh, I see. Okay, so he does balance it. And thinking of work that matters once more. How many cargo shipments do we send to delivering? Which clients does he need to escort? And so on. Usually, when there's something urgent on, he heads to the kiosk to while away the time some dim sum. While away the time some dim sum. A pot of tea, a selection of bite-sized nibbles, and leisurely chatter in the company of good friends. As a guard, a task of his escorting goods from Yilong Wharf to Leeway Harbor. Where is this? Am I, am I just dumb? Am I missing something here? Yilong Wharf to Leeway Harbor. It couldn't be easier for gaming, but as the head of the mighty mythical beast, his dream of making Wusho, Wusho dance, a regular occurrence in Leeway Harbor, still has a long, long road ahead of it. So in the meantime, why not sit and enjoy another cup of tea? So he's from Leeway? Where, where is the, maybe like, it's not even like a apostrophe or like any like kind of like thing. That's why it makes me think just gaming, but I don't know. And who are your friends, sir? That's what I wonder too. 
who are your friends? What is Yulong Wharf? Maybe that is like in some place. No, I mean, he said this to Liyue Harbor. So obviously this is somewhere else. And he does do like, you know, transport. So he probably does go from a lot of different places. That might be like a, a Natlan area, maybe. That's a long trip. But there you have it. There's, I guess, gaming. That's his name. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. You know, I, I have no idea. But you guys let me know in the comments or not. But that is, that is him. Is there anyone else? Now, okay. She looks even better here than before. Here's the thing. Wait, it's no. Zenyu? Zenyu? No, that's right. No. Okay, now here's the thing. There were rumors about Cloud Retainer. And with my dumb self, I was thinking of the actual bird. <laughs> Like the actual bird cloud retainer. That's why I kind of didn't believe it. And I didn't know why I didn't pay any attention to it. Because I'm like, what are you guys talking about? The Like, we're not going to be able to play as a bird. <laughs> I'm just like thinking of the bird version. <laughs> but yeah, so it, it's not cloud retainer, but it's Zanyu. Is that how you say it? Pristine Herald, resident in Leeway Harbor, Animo, Grus Serena. New resident in the city. I mean, it's cloud retainer, right? What did I say? A new resident. A new resident in the city, you say? Oh, it's cloud. I mean, Zanyu. Don't be fooled by her usual manner. Oh, I see. So she's like different titles for the different form. She's someone you can truly rely on when she's going, when the going gets tough. If you ever find yourself in trouble, just tell her I'm sure she'll be willing to help. Madam Payne. Wow. You know, I did not think they were actually going to deliver on that. Because, like, you know, they show things in cutscenes. Typically in Genshin, the cutscene that they show, it's someone who's already dead. But, um, like the Yaksha's or whatever. But in this case, they actually delivered. They actually gave us a character that we saw long ago. And now I really wonder why is she doing this? Like, why is she transforming back into her human form? And this is so perfect for Leeway too. Yeah, for Lantern right as well. Wow. Oh my gosh, we got some reading to do. Oh, this, I have so many questions now, man. That's crazy. Like, why does she transform? I guess we'll find out, right? But that kind of offsets the Fontaine characters, huh? Yeah. Now we're going to have to be pushed all the way to like the last patch. Somebody's going to get the short end of the stick. Somebody's going to be the last character in like 4.8. Everyone has something to say about Zanyun, that tall woman with the updone hair, <laughs> that B speculated artisan, or perhaps the new, that talkative new neighbor. They all say different things, but together they paint a picture of impression she leaves. Of someone who's witty, char or chatty, warm hearted, and easy to get along with. I don't know about that one, but that's not how uh, Zanyun sees herself in her own eyes. She's inarticulate, reserved, and unyieldingly proud. Aside from her mastery of mechanics and knack for making all kinds of little trinkets, it's an entirely different image from how others would describe her. Some curious individuals seeing how her mannerisms and bearing set her apart from ordinary folk are convinced that she's a heroine. So they go around trying to uncover the heroic backstory and whether she goes by any other names. Hmm. Ask a Wang Sheng Fong, blah, blah, blah. Ask the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor consultant uh, uh, with a wave of his hand, he'd say, Zan Yun, we're not well acquainted, but by her name, she sounds like a good person. <laughs> Zhang Li was, was freaking lies. Or I guess his contracts, you know, I can't really say much. Ask Madam Ping from Yujing Terrace, and she'll probably nod and reply, Zan, oh, Zan Yun? We cross paths, yes, he's a good person. You know, we've met. You'll find our days seem to go by much more smoothly. Ask Ganyu, and she'd nod too. She's a heroine, but a very discreet one, hence why she's living in incognito in Leeway Harbor. Hmm. I should like give that away. Ask Shen He, and she would respond pensively, Zan Yun, of course, she's a master. Whatever, whatever you do, you must not offend her. <laughs> As it turns out, such speculations are not wrong. 
There's far more to Zen Yoon than meets the eye, but those who know the full story are few indeed. If someone was to address her as Cloud Retainer, well, people would know her instantly. And you'd hear a torrent a torrent of praise flow her way. Who doesn't know Cloud Retainer? Noble, brave, loyal, and wise. A most worthy friend if ever if there ever was one. So try asking Zen Yoon herself, then are you a heroine? Uh, surely you're not an adeptus. Surely. You catch the new resident just as you just as she's working on her latest invention, her pride and joy, what she calls an exquisite mini broth pot. She's too absorbed and takes the question seriously. So simply it waves so she simply waves it off as a load of nonsense and tells you that not to bother her while she's busy. Hmm. Exquisite mini broth pot. As for as for what exactly an exquisite mini broth pot is, no one really knows. Other than having been told that it brings out flavors much better than a regular soup pot. Likewise, none would know how profoundly it might imp impact Leeway Harbor's future gastronomic development. Suffice to say, if Zen Yoon says it's impressive, it will be impressive. All right. Wow. All right. I'm out of breath, but <laughs> I can. Yeah, I can't believe that, man. Zen Yoon. So yeah, I wonder like what made her go back. Like what's gonna make her go back to this form? Because to my knowledge, I don't think she, I don't think she was in this form for like a long time. No, I'm pretty sure. Like when we saw the cutscene, she had mentioned how like she was in that form back when uh, Guizhong was around. You know, I mean, I guess she said she can go back and forth freely, but oh, and she has like the aqua blue lipstick too. Ooh, and she kind of has like the. She has like the Shenhe outfit going on. Oh my goodness. Well, might have to uh, start saving up <laughs> for uh, for old not Cloud Retainer Zenyu. We're all gonna call her Cloud Retainer, but was anyone else most pleased? No, okay. My God, so. Freaking cloud retainer. I did not think they were gonna, they were gonna, you know, pick up on that. You know, I saw that cutscene a while back, Last Lantern, right? And I was like, we we literally all said, dude, can you imagine if we got cloud retainer? Could you imagine if we got Madam Ping? Could you imagine if we, you know what I mean? And it's like this is the one time it actually delivered, you know, and fairly, it's only fairly quick, but it's been a year, I suppose, so. Yeah, and once again, let me know if I'm pronouncing this wrong. Um, if it's like gaming, like with a space, or if it's just gaming. Yeah, I don't know. But that's going to be really, really funny if that's just his actual name. That's going to be awesome. Bro, it's literally gaming. <laughs> um, I'm happy that we're getting more Pyro 4 stars. Mind you, the very last one that we got was Toma back in like, who knows? 2.3, I think. I don't know. Like, it's like way back then. So, I mean, of course, Chevrolet's. Chevrolet's next patch. But before we get Chevrolet's, before we get um, uh, gaming, it's been a while. So, hopefully, we'll have more supportive Pyro characters and not just like a bunch of crazy DPSs. Like, just so, you know, I hope Pyro can get some support. That'd be nice. But, yeah. So jam packed uh, drip market this time. We got our little gaming with the, the symbols behind them. It's like the bow and a not sure what that is. And for her, it's like all the adeptus looks like. Yep, there's yep. Yeah. So man, I, yeah, I can't believe that. Genuinely, I'd be more excited, but it's like five o'clock in the morning, so <laughs> a little a little dead inside, but. Yeah, so can't wait for that. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Um, so curious to see how we meet these people and or how we, how we meet uh, gaming and, and, and why she transforms. But yeah, that just must be like a thing. I guess like the this kind of outfit is just like a thing for Adeptus. I don't know. Well, Shen is not even Adeptus, but yeah, I don't know. But we shall see, man. Well, now I really can't wait for 4.4. This Lantern Right is going to be insane. I hope. So. But don't know what she does yet. So, you know, we'll we'll wait on that. We'll wait on that. I don't know what she does exactly. So. We'll see. 
But once again, last but not least, this, this is going to push the Fontaine characters a bit. So 4.4 doesn't feature anyone. Oh, yeah, anyone from Fontaine, actually. Interesting. So we get, we're not getting anyone from Fontaine. Hmm. So this is really going to push that pretty far. Like, I mean, the four stars, like, you know, um, I don't know if Sidgwick is going to be a four star or five star, but Sidgwick is going to get pushed. You know, uh, Emily is going to get pushed. Chiori, you know, Clarend, Arlecchino. Like, there's a lot of characters that are left in Fontaine that still have yet to come out. So it's not looking great for them. They're going to be pushed back pretty far. We might be in like 4.8 and finally get Clarend. <laughs> so a little scary, but, but with that being said, I am, like I said, ecstatic for 4.4 and yeah, here's to uh, 40 more days of waiting for it, <laughs> but I will catch you guys in the next one.